Welcome to use Choma Automatic Formula Maker. Choma is the pioneer of the instant heating automatic formula maker. Press one key and you can get a bottle of milk in eight to 10 seconds, which helps reduce your baby's waiting time. The milk volume can be set as needed. Eliminating air bubbles helps reduce your baby's burping. Instant heating, the water in the water tank is not heated. This is the storage box that can store small items such as brushes or pacifiers, or you just let it be empty. This is the milk powder box for formula. You can take the milk powder box down when you want to clean it. Pay attention to the convex on the periphery of the milk powder box when you put it back. There is a concave on the body of the machine. Make sure the two align with each other, or the milk powder box cannot be properly placed on the machine. This is a water tank for water. It can be taken down. When you put it back, please align the water outlet of the tank with the water guide stand on the base of the machine. Align the detent at the edge of the tank with the slot on the back of the machine and press down vertically. If the water tank cannot be pressed in place, no water will flow from the machine. This is the mixer where the milk powder and water meet and mix by swirling. There is a slot here and there is a detent on the mixer cover. When you put it back, align the detent with the slot and press it down firmly. If they are misaligned or not pressed in place, water will leak out from the mixer when making milk. This is a water tray that catches accidentally dripping water and milk. If there is fluid in it, you can take it down and clean it. When reassembling it, pay attention to the buckle at the bottom of the water tray, align it with the main body of the machine, and press it down vertically. When we need to clean the milk powder box, open the lid and remove the white knob, stirring piece, blade, dosing plate, shaft, and case. Please clean and assemble these parts after drying them thoroughly according to section 3.6 of the instruction manual. Take the white shaft and insert it from the bottom up into the hole in the center of the box. Place the dosing plate and make sure the hole in the center of the dosing plate is placed on top of the white shaft. Insert the projection at the end of the blade into the slot on the inner wall of the milk powder box. From the outside of the milk powder box, you can see the pink blade from the blank of the green sticker, indicating that the blade is installed correctly. Put in the stainless steel stirring piece. Tighten the white knob clockwise. After assembly, turn the white shaft at the bottom to ensure that the powder outlet of the milk powder box is closed. Then you can add milk powder to the milk powder box. It is best to fill it up for the first time. Take the water tank down to add cold boiled water or other direct drinking water to it. Do not add tap water. Assemble it after filling it up. Do a line and press in place. The power switch is at the back of the machine. Turn on the power switch and the warm water light blinks after the machine's self-inspection. Press the warm water key and the internal piping of the machine is filled with water. Now we can see that the warm water light and make light are always on. Press the make key to get the milk. Hold the bottle. Touch the bottle with your wrist to feel the milk temperature, just in case the accidentally over high temperature scalds your baby. When the machine is in the standby mode, you can get milk by pressing the make key at any time and get the warm water by pressing the warm key. The water volume of warm key and make key is always linked and the same. Please note that the number of ounces displayed on the machine is just the volume for only water. Mixed with the milk powder will exceed the set volume, which is the same as how we make milk manually. Water setting. Click the set key and the ounce light will be on. Press plus and minus key to adjust the water volume. Temperature setting. Double click the set key. The Fahrenheit light is on. Press plus and minus key to adjust the temperature. Concentration setting. Triple click set key. The con light is on. Press plus and minus key to adjust the concentration level. The weight of each spoon of milk powder is always marked on the milk powder cans. This parameter is referred to as A. Set the machine to 4 ounces, 104 degree Fahrenheit, con 3. Remove the mixer, use a glass to press the machine's powder outlet. 
press and hold the make key for three seconds, and then release it after hearing the beep sound. Weigh the net weight of the powder with a kitchen scale. This parameter is referred to as B. Divide A by B and we call the result C. C equals A divided by B. Use the quick query table to check the concentration setting corresponding to C. Please note that the concentration level should remain unchanged no matter how much volume is to be made once the milk powder concentration parameter is set. It is only necessary to reset the concentration level when changing the milk powder. In the interests of hygiene, we need to clean and maintain the machine regularly according to the instruction manual. To this end, we have provided a brush and a milk powder tube for you. In order to ensure the safety of your baby, it is recommended to clean the remaining of milk powder around the outlet by brushing after making five bottles. It only takes three seconds per day. It is normal that the milk powder tube is stained with milk powder. The milk powder tube needs to be replaced after making five bottles. It is recommended to wash the mixer once a day with warm water. Please also keep the machine body, water tank, water tray, and storage box clean. Wash them as needed. Note, please unplug the power supply to ensure safety when cleaning the machine body. The milk powder box, water tank, and mixer cannot be sterilized by high temperature steaming or boiling. Normal washing is enough. If disinfection is needed, please use UV disinfection. This machine heats instantly. When not in use, the standby power is less than two watts. It only costs one kilowatt hour in standby mode for 25 days. It is more power saving than the refrigerator in daily use, so there is no need to turn off the power frequently. In daily use, please keep the machine powered on for a long time. Never turn off the power daily use. Frequent power off will seriously affect the service life of the machine. Thank you for using Cholma, Automatic Milk Maker. Our aim is to help mothers all over the world to feed children easily.